what can you tell us uh, just an overview of uh, what exactly transpired? So at approximately 8.17 last night, our dispatch received a call. Uh, it was a transfer call for the town of Tonawanda. And initially, we thought that there was a stabbing based on what was given to us over the phone. So our officers responded to the scene. And after and upon arrival and throughout the investigation, we determined that there was no stabbing that took place. After speaking with all witnesses and all parties involved, investigating the incident itself, we came to find out that the vehicle involved, the suspect vehicle, they failed to stop for the police in Hamburg. And during that failing to stop, the Hamburg police terminated their chase, so to speak, at the base of the Skyway. So that vehicle continued on and ended up in our city. Prior to entering our city, they were involved in another accident in the town of Tonawanda, I believe, near Paddock Chevrolet. And the vehicle that was involved in that accident ended up following this suspect vehicle into our city. As the vehicle was traveling on Delaware in our city at a very high rate of speed, a pedestrian was crossing the street and the suspect vehicle struck this pedestrian. The vehicle continued on and ended up rear-ending another vehicle at the intersection of Delaware and Broad. At that point in time, the driver of the struck vehicle pulled to the side of the road, got out of the vehicle to exchange information and to ask what happened. And with that, the operator of the suspect vehicle jumped in his vehicle, st stealing his vehicle and going over the bridge into North Tonawanda where he was then involved, I believe, in another car accident, which turned into another potential carjack. And the suspect was taken into custody shortly thereafter. So he's carjacked the second person that was that was hit, the it second vehicle. Right that the second vehicle, yes, at the intersection of them. Delaware and Broad. After he, after he rear-ended him, the suspect vehicle pulled to the side of the road and I believe this driver just got out of the car to see what happened. And with that, the suspect driver jumped out of his vehicle, got into the other vehicle, stole it, and went over the bridge into North Tonawanda. Is that the, so where does the white van come into play here? Because the, there, there was yes. a crash in front of Burger King. Yes, the white van is the one that the uh, offender was driving. And he was taken into custody. He is currently in our custody. And he will uh, later be arraigned in court. Do you have a name and charges? Yes. So his name is Mark Whalen. If you don't mind me referring to my notes mm -hmm. here. The spelling as well. Yes. Last name is spelled W-H-A-L-E-N. He's 31 years of age and he lives in the town of Hamburg. And as far as charges are concerned, there are a few of them. He's being charged with, and what I, what I wanted to mention um, in terms of this first charge, the pedestrian that he hit, that pedestrian was later pronounced deceased. At this point in time, we we don't we don't think that all of the next of kin have been notified, so we're not going to release any names at this point in time. But it was a male pedestrian crossing the street. Even age? He's uh, he was 40 years old. So this driver is being charged with manslaughter second, grand larceny third, reckless endangerment second unauthorized use of a motor vehicle third, leaving the scene of a fatal accident, criminal possession of a controlled substance seventh, and various vehicle and traffic violations. So basic, oh, sorry. Oh, uh, what substance? Honestly, I do not know that okay. answer. I could find that out for you and okay. relay the message via email if you'd like. So basically, just to recap, you have Waylon coming from Hamburg, um, Hamburg police stopped chasing him near Route 5. Correct. Um, he heads into the city of Tonawanda, hits a pedestrian, kills a pedestrian while yeah. doing here. Yes. Um, then hits somebody else, hits the back of their car, hops into that car that he hit, and then crashes. Yep, drives North over Tonawanda. the bridge in North Tonawanda. Correct. And I don't want to put any words in North Tonawanda's mouth. I don't know all the specifics over there, but I believe the accident occurred over near District 37 at the base of the bridge. I do believe that he uh, jumped out of that vehicle and tried to carjack another. And in doing so, uh, he ended up getting in another car accident. And then 
And that okay. white van was the one he came in from Hamburg? The white one was the initial one from Hamburg, yes. Okay. Um, town of Hamburg Police was the initial agency going after So I spoke with Hamburg, and they... So what happened was they had a report of a hit run out of Evans. So they end up finding this vehicle in their town. They pursue it. This vehicle, uh, you know, fails to stop. And at that point in time, Hamburg uh, discontinued their chase. And what I've been told, and I don't know this for certain, but I believe this vehicle was also involved in another car accident on Church Street in Buffalo. So, what, there's like four so, there's a, here? There, there are a number of accidents, and I've been told, without knowing for certain, there was probably four to six other vehicles in North Tonawana that were damaged. Um, I'm going to have you run through this one more time. But sure. First, let me just ask you. Yeah, kind of a little. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Sorry, like just a little bit. <laughs> um, just your reaction to this as a member of law enforcement. I mean, this puts the public safety at such risk. This recklessness. This, this is uh, out of the ordinary, especially for our city. I've been doing this job for over 20 years now. I've never responded to a scene of this magnitude, so it absolutely shakes the foundation of the city. Um, it's absolutely tragic to uh, an innocent bystander just walking across the street. I'm not sure where he was headed, but to be blindsided by a vehicle at such a high rate of speed, it's just tragic is really the only word that I can explain at this point. Were you there last night? I was. What did that scene look like? So we had Delaware Street blocked off in between Broad and Fremont, which is a good three to four blocks. There was a lot of vehicle debris, a lot of investigation to conduct, and I would like to thank the town of Tonawana Police. They, they sent over their accident investigation unit and assisted us with the investigation. So it was a very large crime scene. Um. What is your message? I mean, I know this is out of the ordinary, but your message to people who, you know, I don't know, drive recklessly like this and aren't taking people's lives into consideration. Just obey the speed limit, obey the traffic control devices, just obey the rules of the road. I, it's, I wish I had an answer. I wish I had a solution for why people do what they do. Um, after 20 years, it still blows my mind at what I, what I tend to see. Has he uh, been arraigned? Not at this point. He's still in our custody. We're awaiting arraignment. Okay. He remains in custody. Okay. Um, where is he? In is he here? He is in our jail, yes. Okay. Yes. And then where, uh, what court will he end up? He will end up being arraigned in our city court over here. And then depending on the judge's determination. Any idea on when that's scheduled to happen? I don't know specifically. I would... I mean, I, I, I can only gander a guess at this point, maybe in the next couple of hours, or within the next couple of hours. Um, I know Kristen walked you through it. I just, this whole thing is just no, a I, lot to wrap our heads yeah. around. It's, yes, um, it is. So, Town of Hamburg Police get a call about a possible hit and run, you were saying, in Evans? Yeah. I believe it originated in Evans, yes. In Evans, yes. Okay. Um, did, was, did anything come of that, do you know? Was that? I don't know if okay. Evans pursued that vehicle. Uh, but Hamburg ended up spotting that suspect vehicle in their town. And this was the same vehicle connected to that? Correct. Okay. That's what Hamburg police say, and they really do you? Yes. Okay. And that's the town of Hamburg police. This is not the white building. van. And this is the white van traveling towards the city of Buffalo. Yes. Down Route 5. The Hamburg police stop at the base of the Skyway. They just continue their chase. Okay. Long before this ever happened. Travels through the city of Buffalo, and you were saying potentially hit some other cars? So what I've been told is they were involved in another accident on Church Street. From that point forward, I believe the next accident happened on Delaware in the town of Tonawanda. Okay. So they go to Delaware in the town of Tonawanda. Is that when they hit another car or is that when they hit the pedestrian? So that's when they hit another car and the driver of that vehicle ended up pursuing the suspect vehicle into our city. Okay. So and they're basically following. So they're yes. following. When does the pedestrian get hit? Is that closer to the intersection of Broad and Delaware. Okay. And that was as this person's pursuing? Yep. As this person is is following this other vehicle at a high rate of speed, he ended up uh, cro uh, striking this pedestrian that was crossing the street. So Waylon's being chased at this point by the person that he hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. He hits the pedestrian. Yes. Doesn't stop, I'd imagine. He keeps going. Stop. 
Waylon continues on and then gets into the city of Tonawanda. So he was already in the city of Tonawanda. Yep. Okay. So once he got to, so I was told that the other struck vehicle was at a stoplight. Mm -hmm. He was on Delaware at Broad facing northbound. So after he hits this pedestrian, he hits another car. Yes. He rear ends it. Rear ends it. And then he uh, continues on. So the other vehicle, once that other vehicle was struck, he pulled to the side of the road in an attempt, I believe, to gather information regarding the accident. And with that, the operator of the suspect vehicle jumps out of his car, jumps into the struck vehicle, steals that vehicle, and goes over into North Tonawanda. And then hits another car? I believe, well, another accident occurred. I couldn't give you specifics on that because I wasn't over there. But another accident occurs with yeah. Waylon. Yes. And then and another vehicle. When he crashed into the fence out in front of Burger King, which was the scene we all saw. Yes. That was before or after he rear-ended something. That was after. That was after he rear-ended something. Okay. okay. And then he okay. crashes into the fence, <laughs> takes another car, and then goes into the NT? Took the car that he struck at the intersection of Delaware and Broad. Okay. And then he ended up where? So then they ended over at the base of the bridge. I believe it was near District 37 in North Tonawanda. Okay. And from what I was told, again, don't know for certainty, but he, uh, I believe he got out of that vehicle, tried to carjack another, was unsuccessful, and then ended up getting into another vehicle. Um, I believe that someone was still in that vehicle, and there was a struggle which made, obviously, them lose control and strike other vehicles in North Tonawanda. This is really a multi-agency situation here. Yes, it was. How difficult is that to try and piece all this together with so many municipalities involved? You know, we when we got there, it was the incident was over, and it was more a matter of just slowing it down because you don't want to miss anything. You want to do everything, you know, as as specific as you can. Um, so again, this magnitude in a city like this, it, this was a giant scene for us. Um, are you requesting the public if they have any video, any information? I was, that's what I was actually going to end with. If there was anyone that witnessed this accident, if they know any further information, please reach out to the City of Tonawana Police Department. 692-2121, uh, extension 304, will put you through to my voicemail. Uh, or they can dial extension 0, and that will put them through to dispatch. Um, and I also just wanted to ask, as far as the timeline, what... You know, what time did this start at and when did it, like, when did it end? How so, long did this go on for? So we received the call at 8.17 p.m. Uh, as far as when the incident was over, I would have to go back and look at the call log. I couldn't tell you an exact time of when it was over, but as far as the uh, processing of the scene, I can tell you myself, I didn't leave there until approximately quarter after two in the morning. When was the pedestrian struck? Uh, at right about 8.17. Okay. It was very, very soon before the call came up. Um, any message to the public you would like people to know when they see the story today? Be careful. I mean, um, very simple, simple rules. You know, if you're crossing the, I, I, please strike that. Um, just abide by the rules. Slow down if, you, if, you, if you're gone. I don't think he was late for anything. I don't know exactly, you know, what his intentions were, where he was coming from, where he was going. But as far as the rules of the road, just to, just go the speed line. Always be aware of your surroundings. Very simple stuff, at least in my opinion. Um, it really seems like all of this just stemmed from this possible hit and run in Evans and trying to flee that. Yeah, it and like I said, I don't know what, I don't know why he was running. I don't know why this turned into such a giant incident. Still trying to make sense of it. Mm -hmm. Where is he from again? He is from Town of Hamburg. Town of Hamburg. Yes. Yes. Anything else, Captain, that we missed that you want to touch on? No, but like I said, if anybody witnessed it or have anything uh, that they feel we should know, please contact us. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate well, that was, we had a... I do not have her name. That's so, right. a woman in this white van. Yeah, a female occupant in the white van. Okay. And she actually, uh, from what I was told, had to be extricated from the vehicle. Oh, because wow. of the damage to the car. Any idea yeah. if she was a girlfriend? I do not know the relationship. Right. What okay. a mess. Yeah. It's. Um, I was he just. Controlled substance. Did he like tested for his variety or anything? So he pa he passed his tests. 
for sobriety. As far as what was in the vehicle, I was advised there was a lot of drug paraphernalia. I'm not certain as to what it actually was. But, but he passed, uh, you know, whatever toxicology you guys do. As far as field, determining field impairment? sobriety. Yes. Okay. Yes. And after the, after the crash, she went to ECMC and did not get into the next vehicle with him. No, she actually, when he jumped out of his vehicle and jumped in the other one, she was left in her car where uh, the fire department, I believe, had to extricate her. Okay. And she ended up going to ECMC. Okay. 